This tutorial demonstrates creating a floor plan in Live Interior 3D. The first thing one needs to do before creating a floor plan is to set the scale and measurement unit of that given project. You can do that by clicking on the square with a measurement abbreviation between the two rulers. I'll use feet and leave scale as is. Click OK to get back to the workspace. Now first of all, we need some walls. Clicking on the straight wall button activates the wall drawing tool. Double click on the button to keep the tool activated even after completing a wall. Then just place the cursor over the area where you want the wall to be and click and drag to begin drawing a wall. Clicking once creates a corner, allowing you to draw a wall in a different direction. As you see, the program displays the wall length while you draw. To cease drawing, just double click on the end point. If you need to shift the wall later, all you need to do is simply select it and drag it. You can change its angle by selecting the end point and moving the cursor. Or set the wall length and thickness via inspector. Please note that you should not create gaps for doors and windows as creating an enclosed area automatically creates ceilings and floors and displays area measurements for each room. Doors and windows are later added by dragging and dropping them onto walls. Other important tools in the 2D view are the ones that draw custom floors and ceilings which are all created in the same way. Just select the corresponding tool and click on the canvas to begin drawing. Contour points can be added and removed even after drawing the floor or ceiling. You can see there are area measurements for each closed room. You can add custom comments by double-clicking on them and typing in what you need, for example, room names. You also have the option of filling the rooms, walls, and other building elements on the 2D plan with a color and or pattern in the 2D Properties tab of the inspector. Aside from the area measurements, there are also annotation tools. The measurement tool measures the distance between two points and displays it on the 2D plan. The annotation tool basically creates a text box for custom comments. Note that the text properties of annotations can be controlled using the fonts dialog that is brought up from the 2D properties tab. Now let's take a look at stories. Stories can be added and removed in the building properties tab of the inspector. You can add stories above or below the current one. Let's add an upper story. By default, the new story has the same exterior walls as the first. This can easily be changed by moving and resizing them. To display the floor plan of a particular story, simply click on the representation and inspector. You can also make any story the ground floor. Stories below this will become part of the basement. Deleting a story is as simple as selecting the representation and clicking the X button. Once your floor plan is complete, you can always review it using the pan and zoom tools in the toolbar. And also note that the project is automatically built in the 3D mode, and any changes made in the 2D view take place there in real time. That's it for working in 2D.